from a secret location in Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. I think that you just don't really make our world a better place. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio with wide open telephones. Anything goes here, anything at all, at 1-800-5800-TOM. Now, in case you're just tuning in, we have Steve on the line here, and Steve... Had a girlfriend. I say had because he's just told her she has to get out. And um problem over here is that uh, a buddy of Steve's was on the Internet and found a website where, um, well, it's one of these singles websites, and it's specifically aimed at Armenians or Armenian Americans or whatever. And the result of the... Uh, uh, the friend talking to Steve as he went to the website, he saw <laughs> his girl looking for an Armenian guy, and he told her that's it, she has to get out. And she's just finding out for the first time why he told her she has to get out. So, Steve, are you there? Steve? I hear her in the background. Are you there, Steve? All right, Dean will try to get Steve back on the line. They're clearly arguing over there. Now, he told she had to get out. He didn't tell her why. And the first time she heard him say why she had to get out was when he was calling into our show. He called in our show. <laughs> he called in our show, and he told Dean when he's being screened why he wanted to get on the air because he caught his girl on this website. And so now we are trying to get him back on the telephone because we wanted to get her on the telephone because she's just finding this out for the first time. Steve, uh, apparently, I believe, is African-American. He is not Armenian, and he will never be Armenian. Never. I mean, you're born what you're born, and uh, she's screaming at him, Sisty. Do you, could you hear what she's screaming about over there, Dean? Oh, she was yelling at him, and then they pressed the mute button. <laughs> They're still on the line. They just pressed the mute button. All right, I'm going to take some other phone calls here in the meantime, and then we will come back to... Oh, he's back? Okay, here we go. Let's get Steve back on the line here. All right, Steve, it sounds like he's getting awfully hot over there. Tom, Thomas. Thomas yeah. Man, this is bananas, bro. What's happening? So... All right, so literally, I'm talking on the phone with you and Dean. You know, I, I think I have a moment of, of, of peace and quiet. She goes in the other room, gets on the computer, and supposedly just deletes her profile, the emails. It's, you know, if, if and, and five minutes ago she was saying that, well, I didn't do anything. Well, you sure are, you know, you sure are acting a little, you know, funny. You went and deleted, what the hell, you weren't doing anything. So it, it's a mess, and now she's refusing to, to move out, but she's got to move out. Was her photo on there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I've, I've got the web page saved, so it's, you know, I mean, there's no way around that. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I've got well, that. And save and, the web address because there's also a website called waybackmachine.org. Even if she tries to erase her profile, if you have the web address, you can go back in time and see what had been posted there previously. Write that down, fellas. Write that down, guys. Waybackmachine.org. Tom, you, you don't miss much, huh? No, I don't. <laughs> Thank God for that. Oh, yeah. So uh, th this is where we are. We, we work together, meaning we, we have a business together. We make money together. That was a bad idea, wasn't it? Uh, 
well, hey, Tom, I, you know, what, what do I say about that? <laughs> I, I, this is the deal. I, I told her we could be cool, but you got to leave. You can't live here. You, you got to split. Yeah. You got to go. Yeah. You got you got to go. Am yeah. I am I right? I agree. Now the money part, we can or you know, if you want to continue doing business, we could you know we could do business. But away from that, um, you know, there's 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 no way around this one. Yeah. So thought thought about you guys and uh, fellas out there. Don't play with these chicks, man. They cross the line once. That's it. And so, you're no. living with her. Another bad idea. Yeah. Well, do you see why this is a bad idea now? Well, it's it's I'm a pretty cutthroat guy, Tom. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not going to let this kind of thing get out of hand. So where did she go now? She's, she's standing around the house, arms crossed, looking at me crazy. And, you know, last thing I checked is that uh, she's telling me she's 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 she doesn't want to move out. She's not going to move out. Uh, yet. How long is your lease? No, this is where we're, I own. The family owns the property, so I, I've, this is... So you're going to call an attorney, and you're going to take the legal steps to have her evicted. That's what you're going to do. Well, Tom, I, I guess I have to do something here. You absolutely do. Yeah. Now, does she not want to get on the air with me? As far as I can tell, she, she's not willing to do that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I'd be happy to talk to her. <laughs> and the, hey, the boys would be happy to listen, man. I'd love to talk to her. Well, look, I'll, I'll give the guys a heads up because she's she's been looking to work at some some uh, uh, gentlemen's clubs out here. So oh, so she's a stripper also. Well, she 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 wanted to get into it. She's an Armenian stripper. She didn't, and recently she's been looking to supplement her her income at night. So really, yeah, that's does she wax regularly? Yeah, she does, man. I pay. That's what kills me. She's, her, she's got more expenses than I do, Tom. So, so doing business with her ain't exactly the best proposition, you know. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we pay a lot more of her bills than we we pay of my bills. So. We'll... Oh my. Wow. Hang on a second, Steve. Alex, what did you want to say to Steve here? Well, Armenian girls are the worst kind of them all. You're better off, bro. Catch deeper with it. Let me tell you, because I'm Armenian myself, and I refuse to even date them now. You're kidding me. Oh, they're the worst kind of them all. You should know it. How long were you with her? Well, on and off, we've been, we've been, you know, I've known her for about five years. Five years? You should have figured that out the first date, let me tell you. I mean, come on now. I mean, does she shave down there at least? Yeah, yeah. She, um, she Trust me, that the, the shaving bills, it's, it's a monthly expense around here, bro. Oh, man. It was, oh... Any kind of Armenian girl I had in you know contact with, which wasn't many because I'm only 27, you know I, I can't say that I dated many, but the ones I had just kind of I, let me. I, I don't even talk to them anymore. Hey Steve, does, just, does she have the schnoz too? What's the deal there? Yeah, it's 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 uh it's like isosceles maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Very geometric. <laughs> let me tell you that. They'll treat, you, they'll treat you well if you you know treat them well, which is you know with money, you know show them a good time. But aren't but Armenians nice aren't call. Armenians like Persians? Like in in the end, they're never going to marry you if you're not Armenian. Like just like Persians. Sleeping with them is the hard part. You know, I'm Armenian myself, and I'm not sure if white guys have an easier time with them. But I know getting with them in the sack definitely is a hard thing to do. And I Only mean, if you're Armenian. Well, well, you, trust me, I'm not even sure, even if white guys have luck. No, I'm telling, you, I'm telling you from experience, it's like dating Persian girls. Persian girls will sleep with anybody but Persian guys. Because, because if, if one Persian guy finds out that you're not a virgin, uh, the, the, the drums start beating and everybody in the jungle knows that you've been uh, having sex. Yes, exactly. I completely agree with that. Tom's the man. Listen to him. I mean, you know, yeah, Tom, you, just Tom kept her, you just kept it on the side. You shouldn't have messed with it for five years. Uh, that's for sure. Well, it's, it's been on and off. And, you know, the, this past couple of years we've been doing business. So it's it's been, you know, it's been a financial gain. You know, I've gotten, you know, I've been winning. You know. I definitely give you credit, though, for kicking her out on the spot. Did she get on the phone? I'm sorry. I had to cut off my phone to get on the line with you guys or cut off my radio. No, she hasn't. But, we, you know, that's that's the next step is, you know, she's, according to her profile, she lives in North Hollywood. Well, I, I live in Los Angeles, but 
Uh, her profile says she's single and she lives in North Hollywood. So the sooner we come on, read us the that, profile. Uh, come on. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> read us. I want to hear the pro. You got it saved in the computer. I, I want to say. I want to hear the pro. I want to hear the profile. You want to hear it? Yes. Okay. Yes, right, I want to hear the profile. Give me a second here, guys. Oh, yeah, I want to hear all the details. She'll come back out of the room when he starts reading the profile. Yeah, I've got the laptop right here, guys. So just Perfect. Bear with me. About let's let's hear all about this. Uh, you, too, can be with this girl. <laughs> okay. Let's find out what we're missing here. Password time. Okay. And... The website existed. Oh, wow, here we go. Okay, the, the picture, you know, we, we just went to Mexico. And she's got a... Uh, so it's a picture you took. It's a picture we took while swimming with dolphins. That's that's on the, the, the home page. So I'm sure the new guy loves to see that she goes on vacation and swims with dolphins. She's, she's swimming with the dolphin here. And uh, her best attribute is 34, 28, 36. So mm. that's what she says about it. Is herself. that what she really is? Or Yeah, we. I think the, the breasts were about six grand or so. so Who paid for those? Uh, I think the business. I think it was business. Meaning business. you paid half. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Uh, is that her in the background there? Yeah. <laughs> you hear her? She sounds like a dragon. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, what did she say in her profile? Let's hear all about it. All right. Do you believe in love at first sight? Yes. Uh, how many kids would she like? Two or three? Uh, oh, here's one. If you could change anything about your physical appearance, what would you change? <clears throat> well, most girls would say, you know, the cottage cheese. Well, she couldn't say that. Uh, I'd like rounder, bigger eyes. Really? Well, you know, I, you know, come on now. <laughs> it's it's really some basic stuff here. Um, she didn't say she'd like to remove that guy who's attached to her in bed. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. In regards to personality that she's looking for, she's like. <clears throat> Uh, looking, I think it, it says confidence. She puts somewhat cocky, uh, average independence, uh, Casanova in the romance department. She's a Casanova. I think that's what she's looking for. She's ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Maybe a maybe a Latin guy. We could hook her up with a Latin guy, but she's yeah. on this Armo site, so I'm not sure how this is going to play out here. Um, now, does it have any verbiage, like a paragraph about herself, like what she writes about herself? Yeah, she she does. What does uh, she say? Let's see here. What do we have? It's got like a real estate ad. She's now going to sell the property here. Okay. Listen, Tom, I love the beach and the lake. I try to go there on weekends. I enjoy zoos and parks. I also try to spend the weekends with my family, usually at their home. How about your boyfriend? Uh, doesn't say anything about her boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. And last activity was four hours ago. So uh, she was on this damn site even as recently as today. Oh, love that. Yeah. Bananas. Bananas. I was not on that four hours ago. Excuse me. It's right here. I was not on that four hours ago. Uh, me, right hours ago. Okay. Well, someone someone stole your, your password then. She's, she's here. And, uh, oh, yes. Well, uh, when was she on there last? Uh, it says she was on here around four hours. Well, what is she, when does she say she was there? When, when, when was the last time you logged in? This morning. She's oh, this morning. Oh, that's okay. I thought you were just on there four hours ago. And what was she doing on there this morning? What, what were you doing on there this morning? Drum roll, Tom. We know what she was doing on there. Looking for the next sucker. <laughs> I couldn't get an answer. She Tell her. She, Tell her what I said. Were you looking for the next sucker? <laughs> she, she says that's not true, Tom. What was she doing? Well, what were you doing? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know what she was doing. Get Dean some oxygen. Dean, you okay back there, buddy? <laughs> Vanya should get on the phone and tell us herself. Let's see. Let's see. We've got more photos. Addison, uh, did you take any of these photos? Uh, yeah, you know what? The funny thing is the, the other photo that was in her profile was from literally like maybe two weeks ago, if that. It was a photo she took... Uh, you know, at, at dinner with her family or something like that. So. Now, the picture of you, uh, of her and the dolphins, were you originally in that picture? Did she crop you out? Yeah, we we were we took pictures, you know, one after another. So I, I, she didn't have to crop me out. I think there were uh. 
but I was I was on the the next dolphin, so I, I'm not sure if she cropped it or, or how that went. Oh, I see. Yeah, but she she she's got all the software for, for that kind of stuff. Oh, here, here here's more about her, Tom. Oh, let's hear it. I'm young, beautiful person, inside and out. I have a very big heart. And I cheat take, on my boyfriend. Yeah, I I have a very big heart. Love to take care of others. Uh, my family and very close friends are an important part of my life. Sure. I am honest and humble. <laughs> Is that so? Uh, well, uh, yeah. Uh, no, not too much of a partier. Don't go to clubs. No. But not a homebody either. Oh. Kind of in the middle and looking for the same. Yes. Whenever I can get away without my boyfriend knowing about it, I go out to clubs. This is something. This is like good reading. I should. I, I could. I could look over this and maybe... Grow some hair on my back and yeah, and and go lease some Mercedes. <laughs> move into uh, uh, with my uncle, my auntie, my cousin in a nice little apartment in, in Glendale, <laughs> and uh, and maybe maybe I can get with this chick. <laughs> Tom, you think I have a chance, man, or what? I don't know. I mean, uh, does it have a, like a, an email address to respond to there? <laughs> it's. It's it's a link. It goes through the website. Ah. There's not a, yeah. She does. It's not like you know. Love to drop her a line. Yeah, but guys, go ahead, check it out. It's it's. Can, can I say the website, Tom? Sure. I think I did. It's called High Singles. I've never known anything about this. H Y E Singles dot com. And uh, you know, if if you want to find some dirty Armenian chicks, guys, then <laughs> uh, you know, here's a good place to start looking. I'm going there right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. There we go. Connecting Armenians worldwide. Very nice. Yeah, Tom, you've got your computer right there. You're ready to go. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm ready to go. Does she have a username I could find her under there? Yeah, yeah. She's, she uh, Apparently, she, it could be deleted, but keep in mind, it is Vanya, V-A-N-I-A-M. Okay. M is in Mary. And, uh, and uh, let's see. Oh, and, and oh, here, Tom, here's a good one. Looking for my other half. That's her. <laughs> that's her, her. Her tagline. Well, isn't that nice? She's looking for her other half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Babe, the, the suitcases are up above the closet. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a there's a step ladder in the kitchen. <laughs> well, Is she packing? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. She she thinks she got on the phone, but I'm I'm gonna call. You know, maybe one or two of the guys over, and, uh, and you know, I don't know. I guess we can sit around and, and kind of have a good laugh with this one. Yeah, absolutely. I'd invite everybody over. By the way, have you ever met her parents? You know, I've, I've, I've known this chick like five years. Never met her parents, right? Not her father. There we go. Not her father. There we go. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe you ought to call him. Seriously. You th- I, I don't know. Maybe I, you I call really her father know. and say, you know, we've never met. I'd love to meet you. Well, this guy here, as far as I could tell. Yeah, but believe me, she'll be moving out. If you call her parents and offer to meet them. That might be the fast track here. That might be the way. Call her, call her family. Oh, oh. wait a minute. Tom, she's speaking in Armenian, so she's she's got to be talking to... Uh, here we go. Let's, let's walk over here. I've yeah. got the, the cordless phone here, guys. I love this. Coming down the hallway. For those of you just tuning in, Steve just found out that his girlfriend, Vanya, has been uh, putting her profile on an Armenian website looking for singles. And uh, so he told her she has to leave. She refuses to leave. She's also his business partner. Yeah. Okay. Is that your mom? Okay. She's crying. Look at that. It sounds like a, a little bit of a, a folk song when they speak. So, I see. Is that is that weeping I'm hearing? Yeah, Tom. She she is crying. Mm. She is crying. Very good. You know, but but I, I you know again I, I told her from almost the beginning here when I got home. You got to go, a, okay, and b we we can be cool. You know, if you want to do business, you know that's, you know that's that's up to you, but. The most important thing is you can't wake up here. 
you know, according, yeah. according, according to what I'm reading, she, she lives in North Hollywood, bro. And I live in Los Angeles. So. Do her parents live in North Hollywood? Probably. Oh, my God. Come on. I mean, if it's not North Hollywood, which it's Glendale, right? And why hasn't she allowed you to meet her parents or well, father? I've, I've met the mother. Okay. Did they tell you why you couldn't meet the father? Uh, you know what? I, I think the father wanted to meet me or I, I really don't know what the circumstances. It, it happens to at the end of the year. They get together because of uh, the holiday. It's <clears throat> Christmas. Right after Christmas is her birthday. Then it's New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I, I just disappear. I'm just not around. You know, I, I'm just not around. And are you told, stay out of sight? No, nah, it's it's just the most stressful thing you, a guy could go through. Is, Did you ever say, hey, I want to meet your dad? No, no. Come God, on, no. step it up. God, no, no. I'd call him tonight. No, yeah, you, you know, I'm, I'll tell you this. She does have a, a half-sister who's hot, guys. <laughs> really? Oh, Fire. Does she have a profile? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, uh, she hangs out at uh, Club Ledoux in Hollywood. Oh, uh, making so, a note. Yeah, so they're you know they're they're a bunch of alcoholics and <laughs> is know, that all, so? Live with each other, man. You know, sure. <laughs> the, the, the 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 train ride is over, and uh, you know this this is it for for both of us, Tom. Wow. But you're the first guy I thought about, and uh, you know. If if the guys can learn anything from this, don't take any stuff out of these ladies, man. They, you give them an inch, and that's it. That's right. Hey, let's hear one last bit of weeping there before you go there, Steve. Why don't you walk in and just give us one last little bit of cry there? That's the thing I like about these cordless phones. I'm, I'm you can go anywhere with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Here, Here we go. go. Here we go. Is your mom? <laughs> Who are you speaking to? <laughs> is she going to help you or what? You see, the, the good part in all this, Tom, is that I've got several trucks. I have a, a moving oh, cool. business. Yeah, so. So ask, ask her uh, what time uh, are people going to come over to help her pack. Is, is your mom going to be able to come over in the morning? Your, your brother's not working tomorrow, is he? No, do you want to speak in English or what? Can, can you catch any of this or what? Well, I don't speak Armenian, but it sure sounds great. Is she going to help you tomorrow? Is she going to help you tomorrow or what? Okay. I, I, I can't get an answer here. Tom. Yeah, I understand. She, she's a little focused. I, you know, what she kept saying is that I don't have the right to change her life at the, the drop of a dime. Oh, but she has the right to go find her next boyfriend while she's living on your dime at your house. Tom, that, that sounds really crazy. This this chick had, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a crappy a crappy car when, when, when she met me, uh, and she's she's been able to, to step up. She's made, you know, a lot of money, and she's got some nice stuff, man. So she, she ought to appreciate uh, the guidance and the... Uh, and, and the patience that I've had. And you'll be guiding her right to her next place. Yeah, you know, I, and I don't mind. I, you know, like I said, I've, I've got several trucks, so for, for me to get this chick out of here is, uh, you know, I'm off tomorrow. Wow, it sounds like it's getting loud in there now. Tom, you, you, you got it quite in here. Let's, let's check it out. All right. <laughs> I love when these bitches get caught. Like the closer I get, the quieter she gets, Tom. Mm. What the hell? What does that mean? Did you tell? Did you tell her what she did? 
Did you did you tell her what you did? Offer to get on the phone and, and tell her mom what she did. You want me to talk to her? No, no, no. Say, I'll tell her what you did. I'll, uh, you don't have to do it. I'll do it. Vanya, here. No. I'll talk to her. I'll tell her what you did. You don't have to. You don't have to tell her. You're you're I, you're, you're broken up here. Her profile also mentioned that uh, speaking Armenian is is mandatory. Mandatory. <laughs> yeah, I don't speak uh, you know more than like two phrases, man. So. Wow. Yeah, I'm coming up short in a couple of departments here, Tom. Uh huh. Uh, if any of the boys out there can can give me some armo pills. <laughs> Only deal is they got to wear off in in 24 hours. <laughs> well, Steve, this has been just a fascinating study. This is better than any reality show because it's actual reality, which I really enjoy. Tom, you're the man. Do me a favor and blow me up on the way out. I'll blow you up, baby. Here you go. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You'll be glad to know when I did the DTB email I got from my girl said, and if I hear the name Tom Likas one more time, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Wide open telephones. Wow. <laughs> this is craziness. 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Let us say hello here now to <laughs> Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Hey, Tom, I've been listening to you for a long time, and that was the funniest freaking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I, I, I almost crashed my car a few times, on my truck a few times. I, I, I work in uh, Santa Barbara. I have to drive clear to Ventura. You know, it's a two-lane highway. It takes a long time. I get to listen to your show a lot, but... Oh, my God, that was the funniest thing. I had to pull over a few times because I started losing the signal. I looked over down the freeway. <laughs> you know, I missed it. How did he How did he find it out? I mean, how A friend of his out? happened to be on this website and saw her photograph. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God, that was so funny. <laughs> I, I, I hope she gets exactly what she deserves. But you know, she was telling all, her mom or something on the other end of that radio that it was all his fault. He's just kicking her out. You know? Of course, the truth. That's right. Oh well, you know what? I, I, yes, you surprised me because I didn't think I'd get through. And I'm sitting here in the in a drive through, and I, I finally got through, and I can't believe it. And, and that was just funny. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Please keep up the good work. I've been listening for a long time. I certainly will. And, Tom, take me out any way you damn well please. Here you go. one 800 800 tom It's Wayne on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, I just, I just wanted to say that was the funniest radio I ever heard in my life, man. <laughs> that was so real. Like the other guy, Steve, man, I was crying. I'm on the 15. My eyes were watering. I was laughing so hard. <laughs> Oh, man, that guy was, he, uh, that was the funniest radio I ever heard in my life. <laughs> so, so check this out. I drop, I'm taking my wife to the airport, right, and I'm dropping her off. I'm in, I'm in her car, and, of course, she doesn't have preset stuff, you know, only in my car. She won't let me preset the station. So uh, I'm driving along, you know, we're dropping her off, and... I'm, so I drop her off on my kid. My kid's eight years old. He goes, yeah, we dropped her off. Let's go party. <laughs> yeah, Rikus. I got a girl now. She's going to be a Rikus kid. I love it. Okay, thanks for the good work, Tom. Thank you, Wade. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Jack on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Doing okay, Jack. Hey, uh, I just wanted to, I'm Armenian myself, and uh, I could make out what she was saying in the background. Just wanted to let the guys know out there what was going on. Uh, couldn't really make out who she was speaking to, but there was something about a $9,000 debt that either she had or they had together, and she was worried about how she was going to pay that. <laughs> and um, she was complaining to who she was talking to. And um, she was talking a different dialect, Lebanese-Armenian. And uh, what uh, Alex said, the guy who called in during uh, Steve. Steve's airtime, 
uh, especially these Lebanese and Persian Armenians, stay away from those for sure, because these kinds, they're a little more assimilated into this uh, Horish culture and everything, and uh, they're not old school like the Armenians from Armenia. So they will milk you for everything you have, so do stay away from that. Um, but, yeah, she was t- t- saying that, and she was saying that he wants her to move out, and uh, she doesn't know where to go, this and that, and she was complaining to whoever it was. It sounded like it was another chick, <laughs> but I don't know if it was her mom or her friend or uh, or whatever. But Amazing. She, yeah, that's what she was saying, and I wanted to come on and uh, let the people know out there. And also, I let Dean know I wanted to um, to talk talk some puck if I can since it's Friday. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I wanted to know what what do you think about uh, Ovechkin's new contract? I mean, uh, where do you think that puts uh, Kopitar when he goes for his new extension? uh, Well, uh, for people who don't know what we're talking about, Alex Ovechkin of the Washington Capitals just signed the longest. Now, it was the biggest money. The longest contract is Rick DiPietro of the New York Islanders. He has 15 years. I believe this was a 13-year deal. Thirteen years, hundred twenty-four million. Yeah, the big nine million the first three, and ten million the first, the last, uh, or the first seven, and then the last six. I think. 10 That's million. a lot of money. Uh, I think it was a smart deal by the Capitals uh, for the following reason: ten million is going to be chump change in five or ten years, <laughs> and by I taking this that's... risk, they will ultimately have him at a really good price. Either that, or you know, I don't know how much of it's guaranteed. But, uh, with, oh, it's yeah, probably all goal. guaranteed as long as he plays. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I mean, you know, it is a risk. But uh, where, where do you think that puts Kopitar? Uh, obviously, nowhere in the ten million range. But uh, I do think, you know, especially the second year All Star here, and I think he'll be able to pull uh, six, seven million. With well, Kopitar. Dustin Brown just signed a big long contract with the Kings, and uh, so certainly uh, Kopitar is going to have to get paid too. There's no doubt about it. Uh-huh. And we have the cap room clearing up with Blake's contract getting off the book and Stewart and Nagy and all that. Um, and I did have a slight complaint. I heard a Ducks commercial on your air there. Hey, I'm not complaining about now? that. The Ducks are paying good money to advertise on our show. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> all right, man. Uh, can you blow me up, Kobe style? You Take bet I can, now. Jack. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You hear a beat in my heart. Oh. Yeah, there I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. Tom, Tom. Like it, like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. Do you have kids? By design, I do not. You don't? By design. By design? Yes. Exactly. By dictionary. Stupid bitch. It's the Tom Like It Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Jack on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Jack. Hi, Tom. Uh, my name is Jack. I just want to let you guys, the guys out there, know that um, what she was talking about exactly. Because when she was talking, I raised the volume up. I was listening very carefully. Uh, she was talking. First thing was she was not... Armenian, Armenian, she's Persian. Like you told me, Persian, Armenian. Mm-hmm. The second thing was she was talking that she had a lot of expenses. She still had a lot of people. She she owed a lot of money to other people. And uh, how how was she going to pay? And she was crying to the other person on the other side of the phone. And the last conversation was, in a way, I understood that it was like the mother's idea. Like the mother forced her to start looking in for an Armenian guy and she was blaming everything like to her mother like what am I going to do now like it was your idea in a way that's how ah, that's good stuff I know that's why it was interesting <laughs> <laughs> I love that I know I know that's it Tom just want to let everybody know well thank you for that no problem Tom can you blow me up Tom yes I can Armenians are all checking in now. That's great. It's the mother's idea. Start looking for an Armenian guy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. 
This is Robert on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Tom. Yes. Hi, I wanted to call in to tell you, I've worked in talk radio in Los Angeles for Premier Radio Uh for years. I have never heard better live radio than Steve and Vanya. (laughs) That was unbelievable. And I just, uh, I commute between Palm Springs and L.A., so I listen to you every night. And I have to tell you, the way Steve kept it together... That was amazing live radio, and I mean that. I congratulate you on capturing that. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. Love it. Okay, Tom. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How's it going? Great. I've been listening to you for a long time, and, you know, I stopped for a while because I I didn't think maybe what you were saying was true, and I went out there, and I realized what you were saying was true, and I came back. <laughs> <laughs> I guess everyone's wrong once in a while, right? Uh, yes, I think so. So, um, I got to tell you, my dad and I, my dad is um, 60 years old, and him and I drive home together every day from work, and we listen to your show together. And my dad agrees with you that you have to hold off marriage until you're older, not when you're young. <laughs> so he loves your show, and he's... <laughs> He's old, so he's out of your demographics, and it's interesting. (laughs) Oh, look at that. Yeah, but we were listening to the guy that called Steve was his name, I think, right? Yes. Yeah, and it was interesting how he was going through what he was going through, because um, I recently had something very similar to that, but I'm Persian, and I met a Persian girl. And the problem with this is once you meet someone that's like that, like Persian or Armenian, the second they meet you and they see one that you're educated to, that you have a good family, you know, the things that ethnic families look at. Yeah. They look at those things and they see that you have it. It clicks in them and they want to introduce you to their parents. That second. Like within weeks of meeting them. Yes, but that is if you're Armenian. Like, this guy, I believe, was, was African American. And isn't it interesting? He never met her father in five years. Well, that, that should be a sign, though. But see, my, my, my thing is, I don't understand why even the Armenians or Persians want to meet the parents. Because I made that mistake. I, I, um, after this, uh, uh, the Persian chick that I dated, I dated a Russian chick for a while. And same thing. The second she found out that I had an education, that I had a job, that I was okay and I had a nice family, meet her parents. And my stupid ass actually agreed. <laughs> so I went and I met her parents and... You know, it's like, oh, okay, well, this guy is Eastern like we are. You know, it's okay. It's Russia, Iran. Close enough. (laughs) We can make this work. And it's like, no, I don't want this. Like, (laughs) what did I get myself into? And I threw myself out of that. It's like, why, why would you put yourself in a situation where you get locked into the family ties at such an early age? I'm 24 years old, and I can't imagine myself getting married. No. And I see all these, like, my, my friends around me, my... Everyone around me, everyone's like getting married and getting their girlfriends and has them for six, seven years. And it's like, what are you guys doing? There's plenty of life if you want to get married to do it later. <laughs> like, I mean, average age in America is what, 75, 75 and a half? Well, it's more than that now. Yeah, it's rising, right? Yes. <laughs> so what's the hurry? I mean, live your single life, have your fun. And personally, just my advice to Persian guys and Armenian guys who yeah. want to date other Persian and Armenian guys. Tell them you're here on an international visa. <laughs> I swear it works. Just tell them you're here on education, and they see that you're you're someone that's not going to stick around. So they're like, "Well, here I got this Persian or Armenian guy that I can hang out with, and he speaks my language, and he understands me, and it's a short-term thing." <laughs> and girls love it. I swear it works. <laughs> oh wow! Look at that. Well, this is quite quite an interesting hour here. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. Have you got that? Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.